It's the source of all life on Earth. It has been heating our planet for over four and a half billion years. We are still learning how to harness its power. But new projects on Vancouver Island are trying to tap into its energy. The construction site at Shimanus's Village Square is constantly evolving. Buildings are going up and windows are being installed. But there's something going on beneath the surface of this shopping center. A number of years ago, I got very interested in alternative ways of construction, of uh, green energy, uh, uh, how we could apply it to our building industry here. The 57,000 square foot Village Square is installing a geothermal heating and cooling system and connecting a series of holes in the ground, a process called looping. Geothermal technology taps into that energy, which is stored in the ground. It works by drilling and connecting a series of holes in the ground, a process called looping. These holes that we're drilling, which are all of uh, these loops that come out, so each one of these is called the ground loop. These will all be attached, you can see them, they, they're engineered for their depth and for the distance that they are apart. In the winter, the fluid in the pipes is heated by the earth and is brought up into the building. During hot weather, the fluid circulates the heat of the building into the ground. Tremainus Village Square has hired Geotility, who will be drilling 40 holes, each approximately 300 feet deep, which will provide the shopping center with 65% of its heating and cooling costs. John says that this geothermal system reduces the same amount of greenhouse gases as removing 25 to 30 cars from the road per year. Here in BC, we like to help the Earth with helping us. Geothermal energy is environmentally friendly. It doesn't contain any combustible materials, and it eliminates the need for fossil fuels. Uh, if there is an earthquake, uh, there are no rupture of gas lines or anything else. Geothermal systems installed in residential buildings receive a full return on investment within 7 to 11 years. The, the big difference um, the, with geothermal compared to solar, again using the example of Vancouver Island, is geothermal can handle all of the heating and cooling needs that you need for a house, whereas solar, uh, it would be very difficult to, uh, to cover all those. It's more eco-friendly more eco than you know, most other places. This particular rig on this site, in a, in a rock situation, we can drill up to 300 feet a day. Geothermal systems are becoming more common in residential buildings. But the Village Square in Chimanus is one of the first commercial centers on Vancouver Island to be fitted with the geothermal technology. The best circumstances for us are solid rock, which of course Vancouver Island uh, has a lot of. Um, they, we put these in uh, commercials, commercial buildings, uh, uh, single-family residential, uh, multi-family residential. There's, there's no place that it can't go. Geothermal systems cause less environmental risk than other heating and cooling systems, and all we have to do is tap into it. In Shimanus, I'm Meg Cuthbert.